what do you think about the school? What are your thoughts on this kind of software engineering STEM school? I think that it's great. I think it's awesome. Uh, uh, th this is this is the time. This is the world. It's technology, and it's not going back. It's going forward. And I'd like my son to be a part of that. The kind of learning that I know I was used to when I was in middle school, elementary school, even high school for me, and I would turn in a paper that I'd worked on for, I don't know, a couple hours, right? And I would hand it to the English teacher and say, here's your paper, mister. That's not going to happen at base. I think it is so critical to teach computer science in, in schools. And what BASE is doing is really introducing, you know, making sure that that curriculum is, is integrated in every other discipline. Uh, and really, you know, as we talked about today, it's like these are where the jobs are going to be. The work that you're doing, it's not going to belong to the teachers. It's going to belong to you. And that is a huge shift in the way teaching and learning happens. And I want to be really clear about this. Eighth graders in the crowd. This is different. We're going to make you work. But what's different is the work's not going to be for me. It's not going to be for Scott. It's not going to be for your teacher. It's going to be for you. And that's at the heart of what we're doing now. You know, you need people with the skills to make these things happen. And that's what I think the real value of BASE is. You know, you're, you're going to have these kids coming out with a skill set to be able to interact with this new economy and actually thrive in the new economy. I'm fortunate that my son happens to be going into ninth grade and this is all happening right now and that he can be a part of it. I'd like to uh, make websites and organizations through technology to help people and to inform people. You know, I really see Bronx as the place where we can really build a, a, a tech community, a tech like we have here in Sunshine Suites, you know, and do more of that. And so getting communities invested and engaged, giving kids opportunities that they never could have had uh, to get this type of education is so critical. Technology is transforming the economy of New York City. Um, and in a special way, it's not kind of tech for tech, it's tech changing finance, PR, media, fashion, um, education, government, uh, and it's really kind of infiltrating all these other industries, and so it's becoming increasingly important to have some kind of literacy in, uh, in technology, engineering, and design. But I, what I would like to happen is kids to come in and work with our startups and build portfolios for themselves so that when they get out, they have real-world experience, they have real-world projects that they've worked on that they can either A, show prospective employers, B, show um, schools that they're trying to apply to, like engineering schools, and C, if they could gain that experience and they think they could do it themselves, they can start their own business. Move that vision all the way through so you start to build it, you start to test it, you run it by your peers, your colleagues in the classes, and they start to give you feedback. And maybe if it's a computer, uh, if it's a computer programming piece, maybe it turns out it doesn't work when you start to test. You go back to the drawing board, start again. But when you step away a month later, a week later, six months later, and you've got a product in your hand or in your phone that is your vision come to life, there's nothing more powerful than that. And that is what real learning is. Most of the high schools I looked at, they didn't really specialize in anything that I really like was excited about. And I like technology, I like software, so since there's a school for that, that's where we want to go.